All right, this is a little tutorial for anybody who couldn't get Photoshop to work. Um, I'm gonna go to, and when I started it had with symbols and I was like, I don't know what that is, let me turn that off. Um, so we've got templates, which I don't need. They're also weird. Um, I'm just gonna make a new project that's like, I don't know, I went to screen, VGA, that seems like a good size changing the dpi to 150 so it doesn't look like trash and background is transparent that's important and create um, and then i'm making a new layer where i am going to get my brush get a color that looks like a hamburger bun hit okay um, i'm going to make my brush really big and 100% hardness and stamp it. Ooh, that looks really yellow. Let's go to image, adjust, hue, saturation. Um, that's better, a little more orange, maybe a little less saturated. Okay, um, I'm going to call this uh, bottom bun, then right click, duplicate layer. This will be my top bun, and I want to try the burn tool. And I have mine set to a size I just picked when I was testing this. I don't know, 304 apparently, but hard disk 20%. I want it nice and blurry at the edges. And I switched the exposure down to 25 because I can get this nice soft darkening. And if I put it up to 50, you'll see it's like I actually burned my bread. It's a little, a little too much. Um, actually, I kind of like that. And then, no, edit, step forward. Yeah, we'll keep that. Um, and then under the print is also the dodge tool. I'm going to use my brackets to make this bigger. Um, I'll have it hit mid-tones. Lighten that part up a little. One swoop. Beautiful. Okay. Make another layer. Move it under the top bun. Hide my top bun for now. Uh, I'm going to see if I can make something kind of like the lettuce effect. So my brush now needs to be a lot smaller. Here, that should work. And 100% hardness. They want green. I don't know. We'll start. We'll start with that. Okay. Paint on something, and I didn't find like the same like mixer brush type tool that Photoshop has, but I also didn't Google it, so it could be in here. What I did find was. Uh, I can either dodge with a pretty high exposure, um, or right now I can I can paint on some streaks, and then under here I have a smudge tool. And you can change the strength, you can change the brush size, etc. Um, and you can kind of smudge the transitions. Um, I'm doing a really sloppy job, but I'm sure yours will look great if you take your time. There's also a blur tool, so if you get it where it's the right shape, but there's just one edge that looks too hard, you can blur. Um, let's see what else? And then just showing the dodge tool. Let's do like a really high exposure, like 65. We'll make it really. Oh, I'm bracketing. That's silly. Um, we'll make it. A little smaller and I can like dodge that way um, layer layer style drop shadow so we still got basically all of the features that you need um, to do the painting portion of this assignment right within photo P so good luck everybody if you couldn't get Photoshop to work <laughs>